Good day, and welcome to Rome 2 Total War Multiplayer. More 2 versus 2 action, and this is an unusual case wherein I am actually playing against Comrade Drago and Patrick. So we were trying to find 3v3s, couldn't find them, and we got them. They kept crashing as people were dropping due to poor connections and so forth. So I said, forget it, I'll just play against you guys. I'm figuring they'd take half an army or something like that. But then we got another guy jumping on my side and said, let's just go with it. So here we are. So I have a Bactrian ally. And you see, this battle's fairly quick, so I'm going to actually just go to slow motion while I go through the armies really quick like. He's got a Thorax sword forward line, backed up by the, you know, Syrian archers and Bactrian peltists, who are actually quite good peltists and the standard formation of Bactrian Royal Cavalry and Bactrian Noble Horse that you pretty much expect to see. And some mercenary, some mercenary, some mercenary Scythian Horse Archers. Meanwhile, I also have a Thorax Sword front line, five units of them. My general is in this Silver Shield Sword unit. This is actually quite a solid sword unit. It's one of those elites, got, has got Encourage. Their attack, though, not great. Their melee defense, very good though. So they're sort of like the reverse Royal Peltists who have very good attack, but significantly lower melee defense. Uh, so then my skirmish troops are these three mercenary Syrians, and I have a lot of cavalry, which is where my main advantage is going to come. I have these four median cav, of course the uh, mercenary Syrian armored elephants, because they're the same as the Indian armored elephants, except they're cheaper. And I have two units of camel spearmen to aid in the cap fight because they are scary. So that's the plan. Uh, meanwhile, Patrick and Comrade Drago have both gone with Rome, although Patrick's gone with a sort of pre Marian build. And he started with his four Triari out in front, which is a little bit different, sort of a reverse uh, pre Marian formation. He's got, I believe, four units of Velites, five units of Prancapes, uh, Legatus, and four units of Equite. And he's got a number of his units with experienced chevrons because he was really working to get up to the points, I gather. Uh, but uh, Comrade Drago here has the more expected multiplayer contingent. He's got, I believe, six or seven Evocati cohorts. Looks like six. And he's got an Eagle Court at either end for reinforcement and for morale support. Legatus, four Syrian archers, and I believe three, yes, three Legionary Cav. So let me go into real time, and this battle actually happens quite quickly. So my main gambit here is is going to be these Syrian armored elephants, because of course my infantry is not going to stand all that much of a chance against the Roman front line. So my goal with them is just to get them up here, and I'm going to try to take this, this hilltop here to, to give myself an advantage, allow my infantry to hold for as long as possible. You see his Syrians are starting to hit me back. And I'm going to return fire, but he's, of course, got more Syrians than I do, even though they're pretty much the same unit. He's going to come out ahead. Uh, these Thorax Swords are going to take some damage, but they're going to hold reasonably well against a missile fire. they got pretty good armor for their points. And I'm going to bring all my cav over here, figuring that the Bactrian has the other side covered. And I'm going to just try to get multiple, you know, two-on-one engagements going here. So i got three Medians against two Legionary, and he has popped his... Uh, what do you call it, uh, Draco ability, so they're going to get a bonus against me, but uh, I have enough guys and I'm going to quickly get surroundings on these uh, legionary cab. So I'm going to go engage these guys with medium, actually I think I'm going to change my mind, bring them into the rear, and these camels are going to do the same thing. So he's going to reinforce, I'm going to rear charge them, so this is just going to become a massive melee. So you see I'm, I'm intentionally holding back my elephants keep them back behind this slope as much as possible so he's not going to see them until very very late meanwhile he's busy busily engaging my front line which which will go well for him and uh, Patrick is also pushing into the uh, Bactrian thorax swords there now he finally is able to see these Syrian armored elephants uh, but by this stage the, the timing worked out just perfect and he's not able to do anything about it, he can't send Cav to stop me, and his skirmishers are now being engaged by my cavalry. So this has just gone from looking pretty good for him to looking really bad. As you watch, watch this charge here, this is just, just brutal. Alright, 
And then you can't you can't see just how nasty it was until we pop up here. Look at that kill count climb. Single charge. They just devastated that Evocati cohort unit by themselves. Um, so with the cavalry taken care of, now I'm, I'm doing the same thing with the median cav. We're not, of course, going to be quite as nasty. But the elephants have gone on. They've routed a second unit of Evocati cohort. And they're just going to keep moving on down the line. So some of these legionaries are going to come back, and some of these Syrian archers are going to come back, and my cavalry is just out there kind of keeping them busy. Now his legatus, he did get his legatus into my Syrian heavy archers, but uh, that was not really my the killing power for my army, so I was not actually even all that worried about it. I figure I'll bring my medians over to help fight him off, but not honestly that concerned about it in any case. So now that I got some thorax swords free, they're going to rush up, engage the Seagull cohort, try to flank it. As this, this unit up here is already flanked, these uh, thorax swords are getting beat, but my uh, silver shield swords are pushing into these Evocati from the flank. So it's only a matter of time before they give. Meanwhile, the elephants are, are still doing their thing. And uh, Patrick is actually doing reasonably okay down here. Now these Triaria aren't maybe the best unit to fight against. Uh, well, although these are just Bactrian Rollguard and Noble Horse, so... He's will actually do okay in this fight. Now these Thorax Swords can be a bit of a problem for him. And his Principes are all over here. Where they were fighting Thorax Swords. Oh, they're over here. So I'm trying to help out. I'm bringing... The, actually, this was an Eagle Court cohort that was uh, from Drago's flank. So I'm trying to get rear charges onto it. And the Thorax Swordsmen are rushing back into that fight. So we got a couple of distinct melees going on. And meanwhile, the... Bactrian Cavalry is back here, just absolutely throttling these Equites and Patrick's General. Even with those Chevrons on them, they're not really going to be able to hold out against Noble Horse for all that long. They're losing decisively. So, pretty much Drago's infantry is shattered at this point. It's only a matter of time before these last couple units break. The Syrian archers that regroup just got hit by my cheap little Camel Spearmen, so they're, they're done. And now the elephants are free to come down here and help fight off Patrick. <laughs> so, and we got some nice blobs for him to charge into. So, yeah, th this battle's pretty much over at this point. Even though my Syrian archers all got destroyed to no gain, my thorax swords got pretty well wrecked. It didn't matter. Uh, the the plan worked. Uh, the holding force held at least long enough. I think one or two of those units did end up breaking. But they held long enough for the cavalry to come in, destroy the Roman cavalry, and for the armored elephants to do their favorite thing, which is to trash Roman infantry. Now, I've had not as much success with elephants lately as I have had previously in the earlier iterations of the game. And uh, I found that you have to use them a bit differently than you used to. Because you might have remembered in some of my earlier ones where I was just able to charge into waves of sword infantry and just keep plowing through them. Now I find that the elephant units are far more effective. Just like any other cavalry, they seem to be far more effective if you are able to fix enemy troops first and then hit them with something like elephants. Um... And you see, these guys gained four chevrons of experience, did 513 kills, and didn't lose any animals. So, yeah. So the thorax swords were getting pretty well spanked. Syrians did some damage, but eh, nothing critical. It was all about the cavalry and the elephants for me. So, in any case, I'm not going to go through it in too much detail. I just wanted to show that. This is a, a way to use elephants that is more effective than charging right into swords, since they don't penetrate units as well, and there's no cavalry penetrates units as well as it used to in previous patches, so they're not as effective just trying to smash into unengaged infantry units, but if you engage them even with something of lower quality, so you could use the same thing with, um, say with Carthage with hoplites or something like that, just get hoplites engaged, and hoplites would stay there fighting Roman infantry for quite some time, at least the stronger ones with ones that have good armor and melee defense if they're in hoplite wall will be quite time consuming to kill and that would give the elephants lots of time to come around and spank them as long as you deal with any archers in the vicinity which is why I spent so much money on cavalry and in these camels to help scare off Roman cavalry so in any case thank you guys for watching uh, good game to my ally series of numbers and of course to Patrick and Comrade Drago so have a good day, I guess.